my name's Leslie Banks with Curvy Lines Art School. So today we are going to draw a princess and we're going to do it in very, very simple and we want everyone to be able to follow along. Now, I'm going to draw this princess in front view. So I'm going to start with my up and down line. And um, again, um, I'm not going to use a ruler, uh, but you guys definitely are welcome to use a ruler. Rulers definitely make your line straight. And um, I'm going to start at the top and um, try and draw a straight line. Sometimes I'm not very good at this, so I uh, kind of jump around. And I'm just going to put my back to you for a minute and go straight up and down. There we go. I have a hard time doing a straight line unless I'm right in front of it. But I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to erase all the extra stuff. There we go. Good, good, good. Now, we're going to start with drawing a person. We're not going to worry too much about the right proportions. This is going to be um, for people who uh, want to be creative and have fun and draw pretty princesses. Now, um, to make um, a princess, I'm going to start with her head and I'm going to do an oval. I'm going to start it at the top. And again, I'm going to work in symmetrical, so there's going to be the same amount of head on one side as the other. Now, I'm doing her head quite small because um, I'm going to put her whole body and dress in. So, um, yeah. And now, I'm going to draw a rectangle for her, for her body. Just a simple rectangle, fairly long, same amount on one side as the other. There we go, that's about right. Now, uh, because she's a princess, uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about feet. Legs, I mean, I'm gonna draw a nice, big, huge, puffy dress. There we go, I'm gonna jump to the other side here. That'll help me. And I'm going to um, kind of measure here, because I want her to be the same on one side as the other. There we go. Now I'm gonna measure here. Way out to here. See how I'm not drawing in order? That really helps. There we are. Great. Now, I want to give her a waist. Oh. Um, I think I'll make it narrow right in about here. And uh, angle out. I'll make her shoulders slope a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to erase that rectangle. The rectangle was just to help me because rectangles are easy to draw. And uh, then I'm going to put a neck on her. There we go. Erase all those lines there. Good, good, good. Now, I'm going to have my princess holding flowers, and I'm going to have her hands uh, together holding a bunch of flowers. So, I'm going to draw her hands next, and I do like to draw circles for hands. And I'm going to put her hands right about here. And I'm drawing one circle for both hands. Makes it a lot easier that way. Now, I'm going to draw one part of her arm, and uh, it angles out, and then it goes to the circle. There we go. Now, I want it to be symmetrical, so again, I'm going to jump over on this side. So that helps me draw symmetrical. And you see where her elbow is? I'm just going to dot it over right about there, I think. And there we go. That looks not so bad. I can pop over here again. I'm going to put cover on this side to tell you the truth. And I'm going to draw the other part of her arm, and I'm going to follow my first line. Oh, my first one. There we go. There we go. Now, I am going to erase my overlapping lines. Overlapping lines always drive me nuts. There we go. They are gone. Now, I think I will... Huh, this will do the bottom of her dress. Let's say we can see a bit of feet. I'm going to put one foot in front of the other.
Just going to do ovals for feet. There we go, her two feet. Now, her feet are really big. Make them a little bit smaller. Looks better when one's in front of the other. There we go. Something like that. I'll fix those up later. Now, let's give her a face. Now, eyes are in the middle. So I'm going to draw a line across. If we put the eye guide lower than half on the head, it makes her look more uh, younger and prettier. Do big curvy line eyes, little eyelashes, erase that line now. Little nose, little noses are always cuter than a mouse. I'm going to do a straight back and forth line. Get two little bumps on the top for um, her lips and a little curvy up and down line. There we go. Now I'm going to do her tiara. And her tiara is going to start right about here. I'm going to give it, make it look kind of like a crown. Jewel on top. Some jewels on top there. And just curve them together. There we go. I'm just erasing my center line. Now I'm going to put her hair on. Erase her headline there. There we go. Put some hair on. Put the hair up behind her. Oh, and I can make this a little more lacy by adding circles. That makes it look better. There we go. We got a pretty little princess. Now let's give her, um, oh, let's make her neck thinner. Skinny necks are uh, generally considered more attractive. Oh, just stereotypes. Now, a little bit skinnier. There we go. Now I'm going to give her a pearl necklace just by doing um, little circles. Here we go. Now for her dress, I'll give her some sleeves here. Oh, I think I'll do puffy sleeves. I do like puffy sleeves. That's what big circle on her shoulder. Big circle on her shoulder. Try to make your circles the same size. And I think I'll go straight across here. I think that'll look very pretty. There we go. Erase the center line, maybe a bit of lace here. There we go. Now I'm going to put in the flowers. Now I'm going to do the flowers traditionally, a circle with um, petals around. Notice how I'm putting one flower um, um, behind the other. Now I'm going to give them stems into her hand. There would be three flowers, three stems, and I'm going to put some leaves on. There we go. Now let's see, is she going to have longer sleeves? Long sleeves make it easier that I don't have to do muscles. So I'll give her some long sleeves. Go. Make sure that they're the same. Same is always good. There we go. Let's erase that part there. And um, I'll do a I like that better. So if I like things better, I'll change them. And I can erase my center line, and I'm going to fix up her feet now. And uh, I'll give her a high heel. There we go. We won't 
be able to see the other heel. There. And I think I'll give her a bit of a fringe. Fancy up her dress here. And I'll do a fringe part of the dress on the back. And I'll put a fringe on that. There we go. I'll put some patterns in her dress. And put some fringe on it. And then I'm going to erase all my other extra lines. There we go. Erase that line there. Put a bit of a belt on it here. Circles make lovely easy patterns. There we go. And there's my princess. I hope you guys have fun and you don't have to do it exactly the same. You can put your own decorations on. Drawing's a lot of fun. Have fun, be creative.